In the 18th century, the whaling industry was a dominant presence in Whitby, and the prosperity derived from it led to the creation of the Panet Park area and the construction of mansions like Bagdale and St Hilda's Terrace. During the lifetime of the whaling industry in Whitby, the ships brought back 25,000 seals, 55 polar bears and 2,760 whales. The blubber from the whales was used to make oil, lighting, soap, leather, manure, Prussian blue, ammonia, glue, umbrellas, ornaments and stuffings for cushions, etc. Crewing a Greenland whaling vessel was dangerous, but very lucrative and offered adventure to the men of the town. The last Whitby whaler, the Phoenix, was decommissioned in 1837. The last whaling ship to ever return home to Whitby is said to have returned home completely empty. William Scoresby Sr. joined the crew of a Greenland whaler in 1785, becoming its master six years later. He invented the barrel crow's nest and holds the record for sailing the furthest north that any ship had ever sailed. His son, William Scoresby Jr., joined his father's ship, the Resolution, at the age of 22. He took an interest in meteorology and natural history of the polar regions and established that the polar ocean has a warmer temperature at depth compared to surface. During a search for the Northwest Passage, however, he fell in peril when his ship, the Esk, hit an iceberg. He retired his captaincy and obtained a degree in divinity from Cambridge University in 1825, becoming a ten-year man the same year and later becoming the Vicar of Bradford in Yorkshire. Scoresby Jr. was elected a Fellow of the Royal Geographic Society and published numerous studies on the Arctic regions and the northern whale fishery. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please come back for more.